Hi guys, I am back with another video. You guys requested another cooking video. So I will be showing you how to make baked ziti. Baked ziti. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to make baked ziti. Of course, you need a pot of boiling water. And in the boiling water, you will put butter. I don't measure it, I just put butter. It doesn't matter how much, how much you ever, how much you feel is necessary. So in that boiling water, you will need ziti noodles. Um, usually I use about a box and a half of um, 16 ounce box, you see. I use all kinds of brands. This is just the one I found in the store today, the store brand, whatever, does not matter. They all taste the same to me. So you see I have two boxes here, I'm using a box and a half. Then I have my Prego fresh mushroom. You can pick any kind of Prego or any kind of um, spaghetti sauce that you like. This is the kind we prefer. And um, I have two of those because my family is big. So I usually use about maybe one and a half of that too. And then we have our mozzarella. I have the store brand, doesn't matter what kind. Um, how much I use of this, I'm not sure. I'll show you as I go. And then we have the sharp cheddar, or you can have a uh, plain cheddar, whatever kind of cheese you prefer. These are the ones I prefer. And then I have my ground beef, and um, I'm using 85% lean, 15% fat. That's the kind that I am using, 3.5 pounds. I don't use a whole lot of beef because um, we use part with beef and part without beef. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. And for the seasonings for the meat, you will need the seasoned salt. I like Lowry's seasoned salt. And you will also need garlic salt. Whatever you prefer to put in your spaghetti mixture, like whatever seasoning you like to use, that's what I like to use. So right now I am boiling the water. I'm about to put the um, butter in, and then I'll put the noodles in and let that boil, and um, I'll come back and show you what I do after that. Okay, you see the water is boiling. Um, I have the butter in there. I'm gonna put my one box. And I'm gonna put my half a box in there. Yeah, I'm wasting them. But half a box, and then you just stir it. Let it go back to boiling. And then once it's done, you drain it off. You drain it off, and then I'm gonna show you exactly what you have to do after that. Okay, and so now we are gonna put in the brown beef. We're gonna start cooking that. I'm gonna burn myself here. That yeah, might not be good. Okay. We're gonna get the garlic salt. Put that on there. You see, you see that? You see that garlic salt? I don't have a certain amount I put on there. I just kind of put it as I feel needed. And then we're gonna put the seasoned, the Lowry seasoned salt. We're gonna let that brown and then we'll be right back. Okay, I drained the meat, and now I'm gonna put the sauce in. Whole container of sauce with this meat. And then I am gonna put some more seasoning in. Flowers. The first part is to season the meat. With this, you want to season the sauce as well. So there we go. It like melts into the sauce. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to tell you about was the tomatoes. You can add tomatoes or you don't have to. So I'm gonna drain these, cut them up, and then I'm gonna put them in there too. Okay, so now we are putting the tomatoes in that I cut up. Also, to keep from getting heartburn, you use a little syrup. Some people use sugar. Just put a little bit. It's not necessary for taste. It does give a little taste, but that's not what it's for. Anyway, you're going to stir this up, and then we will be back. Okay, now the um, noodles and the sauce is done. So what I usually do is I take the noodles and I mix the sauce. So I take a little of the noodles and a little of the sauce, mix it, then put more noodles, mix it, and then I'll put it in the pan. 
but this is usually how I do it. Mix it up. And then I'll show you how it looks after I'm done. Okay, so now we are gonna start putting the ingredients in the pan. So what I usually do is, I usually line, a lot of people don't like to do this, but I usually like to line my pan with just a little bit of cheese on the bottom. My kids love it. Some people feel like it'll get a little burnt with the cheese being at the bottom, but I kind of like the little extra crisp at the bottom. So I'm gonna put a little bit of the cheddar in there also. Just a little bit, kind of get it in there. Okay, so now we are going to put the ziti and meat and sauce in the pan. So now you want to put your cheddar in there. So now I'm doing the mozzarella on top of it. Okay, so with the plain when it's in a bowl, and I just pour some of the sauce in the bowl, because my son, he does not like um, ground beef too much. He would rather not have it. He'll eat some stuff sometimes with it, but for the most part, see, and that's what it looks like. And so what I usually do is, I take and put a little seasoning in there, so he'll still have his little seasoning and stuff in there, which that was the garlic salt. And then here's the Larry's seasoned salt. I put a little bit of that in there. And then I still use this. I don't do the tomatoes for him, but I still use this so it don't have so much acid in it. You heartburn. So I just stir that up like that. So this one is a little plain, but that's how he likes it. So I'll make the babies happy. And then I just put a little bit at the bottom like I do. Get the other one. A little bit at the bottom. Okay. And then what I do, I go ahead and put this in here. A little thin layer. Cheese in there. Put your mo mozzarella in there. You put on another layer. Oh, making a mess. in as much in here because it's going to be his own little dish out of our dish we have what five people that have to eat out of it five people and there's only one person to eat out of this so he should be good to go and you go back put the cheese on the top Get 
I have to go a little bit faster because it's smaller. I didn't have to use a heavy pot. So now this one is going to go in the oven. This one's going to take about maybe 30, sometimes 30 to 45 minutes because how thick it is still, even though it's in a smaller pan. Y'all, excuse my little mess going on right here. But um, I'll be right back once it's finished cooking. This right here, you want to season the salt. Is what I mean. Ah. <laughs> no, stop, stop, don't stop it. With this, you want to season the salt. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> With this, you want to season. <laughs> also, to keep it from having so much acid or being full of also to keep the acidity 